YouTube, how's it going? Macman here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new features that have been added to Safari in the OSX line update. Now, there have been 20 or so that have been added, but we're just going to be taking a look at some of the major features. So anyways, guys, let's jump right into it. I'm going to open up Safari right here, and I am on the Apple.com website, and the first thing we're going to be looking at is the scroll bar. Now, usually, uh, on the previous layout of Safari, there is a panel off to the right hand side that contains the scroll bar in that blue color and very bold. Now what they have done is they've replaced that with a scroll bar that reappears and disappears on movement. Um, so let's say I were to scroll, you'll notice how it appears and then when I scro stop scrolling it disappears. So that's a very nice feature that they have added and it takes away that chunkiness blue bar. Now, the next feature we are going to be looking at is um, moving from a page to a page. Now, let's say I was on a previous page and I want to go back to that page. On the older version of Safari, you can use three finger swipe to go back to the page. But with the new two finger swipe in Safari, we actually can see a preview of the older page or the newer page, depending if we're going forwards or backwards. Now, let me just swipe this to the left and we'll notice that we can just kind of slide everything older over, which is a very nice feature, rather than just going back without seeing what you're going to. So I really like this feature, um, it has uh, very good potential, and I enjoy it a lot. I know lots of people are going to be using this. So that's very nice, and then we just slide it over, release, and we're back on our previous page. So I like that a lot. Now the next feature we are going to be looking at is a feature called Reading List. Now let's say we're on a page such as this one, and we're just like, hmm, I want to look at this page later, I don't have time, I gotta go to my baseball game. Well that's where Reading List comes in handy. Now, reading list is on the icon right up here with the little glasses. Now, what this allows you to do, do is just move uh, web pages and just move them into this little box. And so we can go back to the box after um, at any time and view the articles that we have added. So let's say I want to add this page. We can hit the plus sign right here and we can um, change where we're adding it to. We can select a reading list, hit add, and it will go right into it. We can also drag the little icon provided in the um, bar up top and we can just drag it into here and release and if we were to go into it you'll notice that apple.com is right in here which is a very nice feature. We can also um, do this by let's say we see a link um, such as cloud app. We can hold shift and click and then once we click it will automatically be put into the reading list. So just shift click and it's as easy as that. So we're gonna go into here and we can uh, clear all of the pages that we have added. We can view all of them, view the unread pages and we can also add a page. Now I'm just going to select one, show you how it works. So there we go, it opens it up right away. Now we're going to be moving on to our next feature which is the new like download bar. Now let's say I want to download something, I'm going to do this background folder. So I'm going to hold option, hit download, and you'll notice that it has gone up here and we have a little new icon and we can click that and it will show the downloads. It's a small new window and we can view our active downloads. We can also view downloads um, from the past. We can uh, X out of these if we don't want them and um, see now we can view it. So um, let's say I have 10 downloads. We will be able to view all of the downloads right from this Safari window. So now I can close that and whenever we want to check it again, we can always click right there and uh, we can clear them if we'd like and the icon disappears. Now the very last feature as um, everyone pretty much knows is the full screen. Now one thing good about the Safari browser for full screen is you still have the Google bar up top and the um, URL bar. Now in Chrome um, it hides this so you can't really type something in. You have to hold your cursor up here and wait for it to drop down. So I like this a lot. Um, it allows you to focus on your web page a lot more without distractions. Um, let's say you just want to um, find some facts on something for a school project without having to look at your Twitter feed or your Facebook feed. Um, so that's very good. So that is pretty much it for the video. We can also also, uh, exit out of full screen just by hitting that little button right there. So that's pretty much it guys for the Safari um, new features. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys some of my favorite stuff that I found out. That's pretty much it guys for the video. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Also don't forget to check me out on Twitter and I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.